one of the responses I got to my last two videos, or I should say several of the responses that I got from my last two videos, is people wanted more stories about my high school years and the person that I was then. I can tell you without a doubt and without hesitation that my high school years were hell. My grade school years were hell. Um, I grew up on the East Coast, and one of the particular uh, processes, and I use that word quite a bit because there are so many in this world, one of the particular uh, circumstances about living in the, on the East Coast is it's very big on conformity and uh, fitting in. There are specific archetypes that the society as a whole is comfortable with, and it sort of self-polices with those archetypes. If you don't fit into one, you must fit into another. As I was growing up, I never fit in anywhere. You know, I grew up in Philly, in South Philly, and I wasn't a little Italian thug like all the people I went to Catholic school with, and I can tell you some horror stories about that experience. And then when I went into grade school, I wasn't a little public school, or when I went to public school, I wasn't a little public school thug, and we had Puerto Ricans and Italians and Greeks and just all kinds of different people. Um, and I didn't fit in there, so I had my uh, heaping helping of abuse physically, mentally, you know, emotionally, socially, if you will. And it sort of helped me forge the person that I am today and my complete uh, lack of respect and concern for social, you know, social uh, norms and just the social context in general. I think that society is bullshit. I understand the need for it, I understand its functionality, but I don't agree with its existence. I think that um, if society were truly what society was meant to be, then there wouldn't be a, def a definition of the individuals as a part of it. Society as a whole is the group of people that make it up. Society is not specific groups of people that are doing specific things. But anyway, as you can see, my hair's wet. I was in the shower, and my nose started to bleed, and it brought back uh, a memory that I, that I had from high school. Before I get into the story, because once again, it's yet another one of my uh, you know, past experiences, I just wanted to point something out. Hey, Pippi, I guess you could say I'm a Jouts, huh? That's right. This is one of my oldest t-shirts. I've had this thing since I was 13, I think. So in your face, buddy. I'm proud to be the jerk who wears the t-shirt. In your face, man. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, obviously I was uh, a social outcast in high school. I was one of the most famous freaks from my high school. Um, and... The experience of being, sorry, my eyes are irritated, I guess, because I have sort of a head cold or something. The experience of being a freak in that regard uh, helped me become the person that I am today, as I said before. I have the ability, and this is how it ties into the shower, I have the ability, with a little bit of effort, to cause my nose to bleed. If I physically tap my nose, you know, on a, you know, with a little bit of pressure, a little bit of force, I can cause it to bleed. I have weak blood vessels in my nose, so, and I used that to my advantage in high school. Whenever I was in a class I didn't like, I would just, you know, sit in the back of the room because I never sat up front, tap my nose until it started bleeding, and then, you know, cover my face. And I'm, my nose is bleeding, I, I gotta go, you know, and of course the teacher didn't want my blood all over the place, so. They let me go to the bathroom, and I would sit there for 15 minutes, or I'd go to the nurse's office and, and sit in the nurse's office with a bloody nose, getting out of class. Anyway, this particular story, um, I uh, was in a uh, Spanish class. Everybody has, you know, language electives, and the way that this school system is set up is that you had to take French, Spanish, or German. You had to. In order to graduate high school, you must have a certain amount of those classes. And then, you know, you if you were to pick, like, say, French, you start off with beginner French, then intermediate French, then advanced French, and then you could graduate. Well, I was in my Spanish class, and I think this was the intermediate Spanish class. And I didn't pay attention to that class at all, because quite frankly, uh, I just had no interest in it. It's not that the language isn't interesting, but I'm just not gifted with the ability to uh, manipulate languages other than English. So if you were to try, it's the same thing with programming. Programming is a language. I can't program to save my life. I can't speak French or German or any other language to save my life. I even struggle with Pig Latin from time to time, if that gives you a clue. I'm joking. Anyway. So, uh, here's, here's what's going on. I'm in this class, and across from me, about five aisles over, is this girl who I kind of was interested in. Back when I was um, younger, I was very removed from my emotions. I still am kind of very removed from my emotions. So, with me, it was always a mental fascination. You know, I was never looking at the girls and thinking, oh, I'd like to get in her pants. I just thought that they were, certain girls had particular traits and personality um, types that intrigued me. And this one particular girl looked unique, 
and you know she was she was kind of shy, and I was intrigued by her. So obviously I was obsessing over this particular person at this particular time. I'm full of all kinds of damage. Don't even get me started. So anyway, I'm sitting in a Spanish class and I'm bored off my ass. I'm falling asleep because I don't really want to know the difference between a pie and la plume, which is a foot and a pen. I don't care. No, it doesn't matter. If I even mispronounce it, I don't fucking care. So, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm, wait, I'm watching this and, and I think we're reading from the book or taking a test or something and, you know, I, I put my hands over my nose like it's like it started bleeding and I'm just you know, tapping my nose. And I was sitting there for a good three minutes just tap, 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 tap. Finally, I could feel the blood start coming. I could smell it. So I was like, okay, cool. So I, you know, I had my hands, I'm going to do it like this specifically so you can hear me. I had my hands cupped over my face. And my nose really started bleeding. I did a good job. So it was really starting to come out. So um, I go up to the teacher with my hands over my face like this. And I'm like, um, Miss whatever her name was. My nose is bleeding. And I sort of did a sidelines thing so she could see the blood that was actually in my mustache. I did have a little bit of a mustache in high school. And I showed her, and she's like, oh, here, take the, the hall pass. So she hands it to me. And I'm like, I put it under my arm, you know. <laughs> so I, I'm walking, and obviously, like I said, I'm one of the most famous freaks in the school, so everybody's staring at me. They always do. So I walk across the room slow, because I really want the blood to, to collect. I'm really, you know, I'm, 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 I'm just wanting to get the hell out of this class. So as I walk across the... Uh, as I walk across the front of the class, nice and slow, I come to that last aisle that the girl is sitting in. And I walk down the aisle, and right as I get to her desk, you know, everybody's watching me walk. Obviously, this is an interruption class. She's looking up at me, and, you know, she's, she, she just sort of, like, has this doe-eyed look on her face. So, you know, as I walk, I'm walking past her. I stop. So this is what happens. I'm, I walk past her. I stop. I turn to her, and I do this. Now, imagine I've got blood and gore congealed all over my face, like... Like I had bitten the head off of a chicken, just covered in blood. I've got it in my teeth, running down my neck. It's all over my hands, and I'm like, because you know, I'm. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Maybe it was romantic. When you see somebody with blood all over their face, perhaps you get all warm in the chest and think that perhaps maybe this is somebody you could spend the rest of your life with. I don't know. The simple fact of the matter is, the look on her face was, oh my god, it was like I hit her dog and then hit reverse and then got out and beat her mother with a bat. I mean, I swear to God, it was just this this horrified glare. And I just, I started laughing, and I got blood and spittle, and it's all over, and it's running down my face and down my arms, and I'm laughing hysterically and maniacally for all intents and purposes as I walk out the door to the bathroom, all the way down to the bathroom where I wash the gore off my hands, and I'm just staring myself in the mirror in the, in the, in the boys' room, the men's room, and I've got, like I said, I've got blood, it's congealed in my mustache, and it's all over my face, running down my neck, and I'm just looking at myself grinning, because to me that was the funniest fucking thing in the world. So, yet another story about my high school experiences. Um, I don't think I'm going to really reveal too much more about my high school life because from this point forward, I've got nothing but stories that will either get me arrested or um, make me very, very angry because, as I said, I had a very bad experience throughout my entire educational career. So, uh, there you go. Another story to throw up. Uh, two days instead of four. And, uh, yeah.